<clears throat> Hi, it's me, Luna here. And tonight, or this evening, I am going to talk about WWE. I'll give my thoughts on WWE, Money in the Bank, or where get or Gal in a Box, since the word money is a Greek borrowed word and bank's a French borrowed word. So we had the kickoff that had Jeff Hardy fight uh, Antonio Cesaro and I thought it was a good fight I liked it I thought this <clears throat> that Jeff Hardy and Antonio Cesaro worked very well together it was a good fight at the end Jeff Hardy beat Antonio Cesaro I thought it was a good fight then we had a show itself with the new whip for the WWE Smackdown strike team hit team winnings I guess you could say that um with the New Day fighting the Forsaken Sons, fighting the Fighter House Gathering, fighting John Morris and The Miz. Good fight. I liked it. I thought they all did a good job in it. And at the end, the New Day won and kept the WWE SmackDown strike team, hit team, slap team winnings. But most likely they're slapping each other's hands when they want to bring someone in. So it'll be slapping or smacking. Or hitting, I guess. <clears throat> So anyway, then we had R-Truth, who thought he was fighting Montel by Tadius Porter, but no, he's fighting Bobby Lashley. So it's R-Truth fights Bobby Lashley. I like this. I thought it was a good fight. Now some folks are going to bitch, and they're going to scave, be scathing by saying that, oh, well, the throwaway fight. It shouldn't have been on the show. Why was R-Truth and Montel by Tadius Porter fighting, they're going to say. I don't know. They're going to say, why was... Why was R-Truth and Bobby Lashley fighting? It should have been on main event or whatever. Monday Night Raw or whatever they'll say. Well, whatever. R-Truth and Bobby Lashley had a good fight. I liked it. And at the end, R-Truth... <clears throat> and at the... <coughs> And at the end, our and at the end, our truth. Um, Bobby Lashley beat our truth. Sad for clearing my throat. Then after that, we had, we had Tamina Snook. Hold on. Then after that, we had Tamina Snuka fight Bailey for the WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight Winnings. Good fight. I liked it. I thought that Bailey and and Tamina Snuka were very well together <clears throat> in this fight. But at the end, Bailey beat Tamina Snuka and kept the WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight winnings. Then we had Braun Strowman fight Bray Wyatt for the World Heavyweight winnings. Good fight. There were a lot of the times where everybody thought Bray Wyatt was going to have it won. And at the end, Bray Wyatt, or at the end, Braun Strowman beat Bray Wyatt and kept the World Heavyweight winnings. And I know folks are going to get irked, mad, wretched. They're going to scave it by saying, oh, Bray Wyatt got besmirched. Braun Strowman beat Bray Wyatt. He's besmirched. He's been, he's besmirched now. That's what they'll say. That's going to be their belief and thought. <clears throat> Then we had Drew McIntyre fight Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight winnings. I mean, for the WWE Heavyweight winnings. My mistake. And uh, there were a lot of times in this fight where Seth Rollins thought he had it won. A lot of times we thought that was going to happen. <coughs> but at the end, <coughs> at the end, Drew McIntyre beat Seth Rollins and kept the World Heavy and kept the WWE Heavyweight winnings. Am I losing my voice or something? I hope not because I'm not going to go for that again and then after that we had the Weir Gill we had the gal in a box fight or the money in a bank fight and we had all the women and they were all the men and they were going all over WE's homestead you know putting them have, fighting everywhere all kinds of binds you could think of there was brother love the showrunner of smackdown was there 
Paulie Dangerously, the showrunner of Raw, was there. We had Stuffy Ant Man at one time. Even Vince McMahon was there too. And even though a lot of folks thought that this was going, didn't know how it was going to be, at the end, after all that, all the things they went through, Oscar won. They mm, galled in the box for the, uh, you know, for the women's. And at the end, Otis won the won the gal in the box for the men. So at the end, on the SmackDown side of things, you have Otis Akibich, who won, who's now Lord Gal in the box, thanks to Elias Sampson helping him stop Bear King Bear and Corbin. And then you have Oscar, who is now Lady Gal in the box on the Raw side. So, anyway, I liked, you know, Money in a Banker, Galled in a Box. I liked the kickoff. I liked the fights, too. I thought it was good. Now, a lot of folks are going to be scathing it. They're going to be bitching about it. And it is what it is, you know. So, anyway, that's it. I'm Luna. I hope you like, you know, Money in a Bank or Galled in a Box. Hope you like it. I'm Luna, and I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat>